First, though, let's look at the stories making the news this morning. With me, journalist Ollie Mann and Celia Walden. Great to see both of you. Hello. Really, really good. Now, depending on what paper you read, there's a uh, concern about um, sex education lessons for children that are very, very young. What do we think? Well, this is based on a dossier that's been right. put together by the Christian Institute. So now, obviously, they already have their thought-out position on whether um, children should be taught sex education. Right. Um, but they've gone through resources from the BBC through to uh, kind of medical pamphlets that are distributed at school, and they've cherry-picked examples, which the Daily Mail has lapped up and put in, which are, which are quite explicit. Right. Uh, and, you know, when you hear that five to 11-year-olds could be looking at some of these pictures, it, it is quite shocking, and some of the language mm. Is actually too vivid to even we say here on television. We can't see it for our age. Yeah. <laughs> saying something. <laughs> so I mean, we have to we have to tell kids about what's going on. You know, but you have not to... at five. This right, is okay. what I think, and I think also the discrepancy between five-year-olds and eleven-year-olds need to know very different things. So you mm. can't have the same thing across the That's board. That's true. That's true. Um, and some of the pictures are frankly kind of perverse. I mean, there's there's one where it says different ways that mummy and daddy can fit together, and it shows these two people <laughs> on a, okay. a, on a toy doing sort of some kind of, I mean, it's really... It would be a straight, you would get a strange impression of yes. the world of the birds and the bees you from really space hoppers. You can imagine a five-year-old wondering what on earth is going on. But, you know, the story says that five-year-olds could be shown this material. No, they couldn't. Yeah. I mean, any sensible teacher is, I mean, when you take a bracket of ages from five to 11 mm, and yeah. say this is what children are being given to school at school, I think most parents wouldn't feel a problem yeah. with an 11-year-old seeing this, bearing in mind, you know, two, three years later, let's be honest, they're likely to be exposed to hardcore yeah, pornography. That's very true. You know, it's so it's a, way, it's a coping <laughs> mechanism for, for right. dealing with this stuff. But we have a problem hope, with teenage pregnancy, so... That's true. But let's hope none of them will be doing it on a space hopper, because that's really just I've worrying. I've never heard of that on no. a space hopper. No, How neither. intriguing. <laughs> we must be very sheltered. I think do <laughs> Pilates first would be my recommendation <laughs> for that. OK, that's um, got great images in my mind. <laughs> now, look, front page of the Daily Express today, Easter holiday flight misery. Um, once again, you know, everybody that's saving up for their holidays and going away, it looks like the, the Spanish airport workers are going to go on strike. Um, apparently, the, we're saying the police might be threatening to strike ahead of the royal wedding. So it's going to be a bit of a miserable Easter that we've seen. It is, yeah. Well, the police can't strike. They're not allowed to strike, no. either, but they can march. They, right, can, they okay. can march to Whitehall, which is always, which I think... It can almost cause as much disruption, really. I mm. mean, if Because they're, they're talking with the police about the two weeks before the royal wedding. Right. So it couldn't be a worse time. And equally, the Spanish airports are saying that they'll do it um, from the 20th of April. So, again, it couldn't be the worst... Mm. You know, there couldn't be a worse time, which is why they've picked them, presumably. I just... You know, somewhere, somewhere, there's an, a tabloid editor who is looking into now to see whether there's anyone who was held up first by the volcanic ash cloud, <laughs> yeah. then by the BA strikes, mm -hmm. then by the snow, and now they've planned a a trip to Spain and Iberia. There probably yeah. is someone who has unlikely missed every holiday for the last year. It's going to really affect Spain, though, because a lot of people will read that and a lot of people who haven't made their plans well, will just thing. not go. So well, even the threat is already yes, a they, problem. they just won't, which, yeah. is, which is terrible for, for Spain because they obviously need the tourism money. And it's Spanish airspace as well. So even yes. if you're flying over Spain because it's air traffic control, it's right. not just landing in Spain. It sure. affects Portugal and Malta and all these oh, other places dear, as well. Oh, dear, oh, dear. Not good, not good. Now, what about this? We're talking about no smoking day. We're going to be talking about that uh, later on. And apparently over 20% of smoking would, if they had the choice between their partner and a packet of fags, what would they choose? <laughs> Isn't it the depressing? Fags. The fags, 20% would choose the but cigarettes. That doesn't, I, that doesn't surprise me in a way, because I think, you know, with all addictions, it just takes over everything. Um, and I think also the amount of the sort of trust issues involved with secret smokers. Right. Um, and apparently 62% of us are, are secret smokers. Mm -hmm. um, and so it's all about the lying, and I think partners can feel really shocked if they find out that someone they've been living with has been sort of creeping behind the, the shed to have a cigarette. Mm. Um, they and just they're think, eating well, tons of pullments. Well, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> it just becomes this huge kind of um, right. uh, vicious circle, so um, I, can, I can see that. But a cigarette more important than the one you love? <laughs> it seems absolutely insane to me. I think if you're going out with someone who would say that they'd rather have their cigarettes than you, you should dump them. I agree with if, you. If only absolutely. for the fact that they're going to stink anyway and have yellow agree. teeth and fingernails yeah, and things. Yeah, you could be right. Actually, talking about stuff you get taught in the class, okay. the reason I don't smoke is the propaganda I had in the early 80s about blackened lungs being shown to me in my school assemblies. I, I approve. Absolutely so worked. worked. Absolutely worked. It does show that the right message at a yes. young age completely yeah. gets through. So I've never had a cigarette in my life. Good man, good man. Me neither, because I'm so glad that I haven't. I'd be 100 a day. <laughs> it'd, be, I'd be, it'd be terrible. Now, David Beckham has been talking about Victoria's pregnancy. He was um, visiting some kids in Los Angeles yesterday, and this is what he had to say. 
She's great. Sorry, yeah, she's question. very healthy. She's uh, she's feeling good. She's in London at the moment working, but uh, really yeah, very excited. We're very excited. It's uh, exciting time for the family. It is very exciting for them. I have to say though, I think um, I think Victoria's about four months pregnant, and this is a picture of her this morning in the mirror. And I don't, I know she's got a handbag over her wee tummy. There's like a wee knot in a, you know, it's a knot in a piece of thread. Yeah, but it's partly really? clever dressing, I think. Yeah. She's been wearing a lot of black, hasn't she? Mm. Um, I'm sure you've noticed that. Absolutely. Um, have you? I've, I've thought of nothing <laughs> else. <laughs> 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 you noted it down. And um, yeah, well, good luck to them. Good luck to she them. Can't she can't win, tiny. though, you know. No, she if can't. she came out as large as a house and farting, Everybody everyone would, would say, look at the state of it. <laughs> I know. You know. I know, it's true. She comes out looking classy. But I think she's making less of a of a point of it than she has with previous pregnancies, for what it's worth. Now, what about the future Princess Wales, I guess, future Queen one day? Uh, Kate Middleton, Prince William, they were actually in uh, Northern Ireland yesterday. Um, and I thought she looked absolutely beautiful and she seemed very, very at ease. Yeah. And I think she's going to be a massive asset to them. And boy, do they need it. Yeah. It's an important skill as well, flipping pancakes, totally. isn't it, for the royal family? It is. Yeah. Very, very much so. Well, she, man, she had a go as well. She had a go and she did it. And I love the way that she gives it. She said, there you are, take care of that. <laughs> <laughs> You look after I'm that man. <laughs> no, start that out. But I, I do think she is going to be a massive asset. She's doing well. And her fashion sense has improved a lot. Although I noticed that it's all very well to say, oh, good, she's dressing a bit better. But it was a £650 coat. So, I was thinking you know, of that. I mean, uh, in a recession. Uh, yeah. I know she's going to be a princess, um, but, yeah, but she should be wearing Marks and Spencer's, shouldn't well, she? Well, but then the fashion commentators are all torn about this. You know, should she dress mm. the part or should she be wearing High Street? Um, wearing British, anyway. though, wasn't she? She, she was. She was wearing British, good. but 650 quid. I know, what? which is not. You can get them in Primark and exactly. other. Outlets. Well, the, thing she, the thing she's doing well, I think, is not saying anything. Yeah. She's oh, just, totally. so, we, so we're all talking about what she's wearing because we don't yeah. know anything about you know her what? personality. You, the Queen Mother, you never heard the Queen Mother yeah. talk, yeah. and everybody, you know, she was this adored figure. Yeah. So that's actually exactly. a really, really yeah. good point. You should be an advisor to these folks. <laughs> Thank you both very much indeed.